Flowmingo. So Webflow just dropped a new feature, nested symbols. Literally just like an hour ago, um, I had to jump on and make a video because it is a huge, huge feature. Okay, so you may know inside of Webflow, you can turn anything into a symbol, meaning that you can reuse that element in multiple locations on your site. And when you update anything on that symbol, say the color or the size or really anything, it'll get updated across all the instances of that symbol throughout your site. A big limitation up until today was that you couldn't put a symbol inside of a symbol. So this was the biggest stopper from being able to build full design systems inside of Webflow. All right, let me show you how it works real quick. Let's say I have a nav bar up top. Let's just add a class to this called nav bar. And we'll add some styles to it. Maybe make it make it like a, uh, a little lighter gray. Let's add a border bottom, two pixels of black. Perfect. And then inside the brand, we'll add some text and we will say demo, boom. And then I will say navbar container. We'll make this like 1140 pixels. Let's make it flex and centered. Grab the nav menu, add a class nav menu, and we'll do margin auto to push back over. All right, so first off, let's right click and make this a symbol and we'll call this navbar. Okay, so now, say like I have a button. I could add a class to this and call this button, and let's just make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it like six pixels, padding top and bottom. Let's make this one like a pink color, and the text color will be black and that's border radius. Okay, what this feature allows you to do now is I can now turn this into a symbol and if I double click in here, I can drop in that button, symbol, like so. Let's make sure that nav menu is, let's do flex and centered. Okay, so now the nav bar is a symbol, this button is a symbol. Say, for example, I'm like, nah, this pink isn't working. I can now go update it to like say a green and it gets updated in the nav bar as well. And I've only done a little bit of testing, but you can do multiple levels of nesting. I'm not sure how far Webflow will let you go. So say I have a section inside of here and let's just drop in, let's do a div. We'll call this container um, 1140 pixels and center that. Then we will do uh, another div call this hero grid, make a grid element, two columns, boom, boom, boom. Then we can do a heading and we could do an image over here. So if we wanted to make this a symbol for whatever reason, we can just make it symbol, call this hero. And we could even drop in that nav bar symbol, nav bar. And then we'll move that up. So now we have multiple levels. The hero is a symbol that can be reused throughout the site. The nav bar is a symbol that can be reused. The button is a symbol that can be reused. So you can see how incredible this is. You can basically design and build all your components and then build out larger layouts. And it can all be very modular. So you can build it in a way that's reusable, maintainable. You can build a full design system. This is an absolutely incredible feature. It's been much needed. I'm so, so happy that they finally launched this. I'm actually just curious how far they'll let me go. So let's drop in another div. I'm gonna call this card grid. I'll make that grid element. I'll make it three columns, one row. Inside of here, let's drop in a div and I'm gonna say card and I'm gonna say height is 400 pixels and background is that ugly brown color. Give it some border radius, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so this we are going to turn into a card. So I'm gonna grab the card grid, turn into a symbol, card grid, all right. So I could open up this hero symbol and drop that in here. Nice, awesome. Okay, and actually this should probably be inside this container like so. 
And can I have, can I have a button inside of here? Button symbol. Is that a button inside this div? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try one more thing. Let's drop in a div and I'm gonna call this padding um, Y. I would normally never build it like this, but let's just test things out. All right, let's turn this into a symbol. Call it like section padding. And then we will drop in that hero. Okay, so if there's a limit to the amount of nesting that you can do, I'm not seeing it. There may be some limit to the amount of nesting that you can do, but I'm four levels deep here. So section padding is a symbol, the hero is a symbol, this card grid is a symbol, and then this button is a symbol. So four levels of nesting. And the awesome thing is like, if I wanna change this, look at that, and it updates everywhere. This is absolutely fantastic. Webflow, super, super nice work on this. You guys should definitely go check this out, go play around with it. I'm super excited to use this for my future sites. Ah, it's just gonna make things so much easier. So this is obviously the first iteration of these nested symbols. Uh, down the road, you're gonna be able to do awesome things like element overrides and style overrides. So element overrides are being able to hide or show elements uh, depending on the symbol. So say you have a bunch of cards, you could say, I want this card to have a button, but these other two, I don't want to have a button. But all that would still be based on that main symbol, that main card symbol. Style overrides and variants is where things get extra awesome. So you'd be able to obviously update styles, say like changing background color or text color or whatever, but you'd be able to have variants. So say you have a light version and a dark version. You'd be able to quickly swap those out depending on where you're using the symbol in your site. I'm beyond excited to have nested symbols. If you haven't already, definitely go to Webflow and play around with this because it's super, super, super cool. It's gonna make maintaining websites so much easier. You do have to be a little bit more thoughtful in how you go about designing and building your sites, but it's going to make it so much easier to maintain. I'm really excited about this. And then once I add the element and style overrides and the variants, it's gonna be insane what you can do. All right, that is all for this one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace. Lo Mingo.